In the LCK YouTube channel, Reaper was invited as a guest to talk about horror stories from his time in Senheim. Oh, there's 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 a lot of horror stories. I wonder what Reaper talked about. Let's see. I thought his stories were so fucking funny, so I wanted my Western brethren to enjoy the lols. Reaper, when I first joined C9, the team was Impact Medios, Jensen, Sneaky, and Smoothie. We reached finals and met TSM. After losing a game, one player said, ah, we lost because of Bjergsen. When all the players were gathered, basically implying it was mid-gap, they didn't directly say it to Jensen, but uh, was just speaking without thinking. Jensen got mad and said they lost because of Jungle Diff. Then Jensen said, ah, I don't want to play with this guy, Medios, host. So what did you guys do? Reaper responds, we lost. After talking more, there was also a conflict between Impact and Medios when we went to Worlds. Impact was playing as Canon and his opponent was playing as Rumble. At that time, we still had to manual, we still had manually set runes. After the game ended, Medios said to Impact, hey, you didn't have any blue magic resistance runes. Impact replied, I have my own ways. I played against Rumble a thousand times. I'm the top laner. Don't worry about it. Oh, that's a very Korean response, yeah. Uh, but Medios and Impact still argued about how magic resistance runes for an hour and a half. Well, obviously, yeah, you magic resistance runes, uh, especially in that time period. Uh, but we still had to play the next game. Host, so how did you resolve the conflict? Reaper, if it could have been resolved, I would have resolved it. If I sided with Impact, Medios would say, okay, and still argue with Impact. If I told Impact, hey, you would know the matchup, just say uh, you understand Medios' concerns and move on, Impact would say, okay, and they would still fight. Um... So here's the thing. I do believe that situations like that, in, in, in my experience, right, from dealing with confrontational players, toxic players, players that will apparently, always, you know, stories will come out that they'll always refuse to listen and all this other magical fucking stuff. I always believe that those situations can be resolved um, and that they require a certain knowledge of maneuvering in conversation as well as like experience with those situations to know how to navigate them. Um, now, I'm going to say something that I, I don't mean to, de uh, to be disrespectful. I fully do not believe that Reaper would be uh, competent enough in English to resolve this between the two of them. Um, and what I mean by that is even, even when you're... So again, this is thinking back to uh, old C9 like era and stuff like this. If you're having a really heated argument between a Korean player, and Impact has okay English... Uh, I mean, he has, he has pretty good English, right? But this is back when Impact was only there for a couple of years. I do not think that his English was as good as it is now, right? So when you're having a internal player conflict and there's also a language barrier that is coming up for something that is like deeply analytical, um, I think that you're probably really going to struggle to resolve it unless you can, you're like willing to do the things that I just mentioned like prior, right? Really, really getting to like the nitty gritties and stuff like this. So I never like responses like these. And I primarily say that because I've never once in my experience as a fly on the wall or being directly involved in situations like these myself personally, etc., have ever actually encountered a situation where a player genuinely 100% stonewalls uh, something. I've never seen it. I've never encountered it. Um... So that's why I, I hesitate on accepting something like this uh, at face value. Um, there were also, and again, I understand that's my own subjective, like anecdotal experiences and stuff, but um, they are extremely plentiful across, you know, lots of different uh, personalities, cultural backgrounds, and like, I, I don't know. So yeah, it's just my own personal belief. Um, ho, oh, 60 minutes. Uh, Medio saved his ult for 60 minutes. There was also that legendary Lee Sin game, 60 minutes. Medio's ult once was Lee Sin. We won the game. Right after the game ended, Medio's told me I'm not playing Lee Sin again. Also, there's horror stories about teams handling scrims in NA if they don't like the banned picks. Yeah, so say you're the other team coach and you don't like the banned picks, your support leaves the game and they say in chat, uh, no, they say, okay, Reaper 1-0. What? That's the funniest thing I heard today. Lots more content in that video. Some of the more juicy parts of the ex-coach of T1 moment uh, doesn't regret the Jim Yoonmi pick. Uh, from 2022 MSI uh, Game 5. So this is actually really funny because, uh, to my knowledge, Karia was really disgruntled after this game um, at Korean Barbecue. Um, he was really, really upset uh, at Korean Barbecue, uh, talking with like other players that were not just T1. Um, and Karia, I think, was very upset. So saying that T1 moment doesn't regret it, I don't totally know what that is because, to my knowledge, the players picked it. Um, and again, the, 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 this makes it sound like coaches are drafting and the, they're often not. Um, flame him for that, plus never banning Gwen. Hope you had a laugh. I know I did. When I first joined C9, t oh. Uh, okay, I mean, these aren't horror stories. Why is the title so 
ridiculous. This isn't a horror story. What? Why is the title so stupid? Oh, I guess. <laughs> Gotta get their clicks. That's just so stupid. So isn't, fucking stupid. Isn't Flight Games on now? No, not yet. Now they're talking about Nofe, moment, 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 Nofe. Pro career. Well, I mean, these aren't horror stories. This is just dumb. This is a really, like, sensationalist title. What a stupid fucking title. I was really hoping that he would actually talk about some of the horror stories. Um, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. In due time. In due time. In due time. Uh, it's fine. All right, so I guess that's it that's going on 